Hello, hello, hi you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, I'm Akanksha. So in this video, festivities are around the corner. If you don't already know that, it's all over Instagram. Literally everybody is doing a Navratri series. And um, I think everybody, like even on YouTube, I don't know. I'm not, I've not seen anybody do it on YouTube. It's not like I'm doing it. But then, yeah, Instagram, it's flooded with it. So you know, it's festive season. And... Um, I just wanted to like you know get give you like an updated good makeup tutorial for like festivities that will last throughout anything like you know we do pujas we do dance we do so many things so you sweat you get oily so like to minimize that as much as possible I thought I'll give you guys uh, some tips and I thought kind of give you a makeup look as well which might work for you now let's get started yeah. Firstly, let's clip this hair behind. First of all, we need to hydrate, then mattify. Never just mattify your skin as is. Like, you know, I know people kind of just don't apply moisturizer or sunscreen or like anything which basically needs to hydrate your skin. Thinking like, you know, if I apply that and if I go in with makeup again, then my skin will get more oily. That is not true. Always, always hide your skin care is an unskippable step. You have to do everything for your skin care, even if you are doing um, makeup. Always remember that. So, like hydration is the key. I did my skincare, but to just refresh it, I'm going in with Love Child by Masaba's uh, face mist. If you don't hydrate your skin, your skin will produce even more oil to compensate the dryness which you've left behind without hydrating it. So your makeup is going to look even more oilier at the end of the day. To so always make sure you hydrate. I put so much spray okay the mist is dried down now I am going to apply a little primer now I know I generally like don't do primer but in the days when I want to fill the pores make my makeup last for longer I do go in with one and today I am using the Acme Absolute Blur Perfect Primer now, I really like their gel one to fill in the pores as well but this one um, it kind of mattifies my face a lot more I'm not applying it all over you can just see only right here this is the area where I tend to get the most oily you guys like the nose and this part is where I get oily the most so I'm just applying it right there so that you know it kind of doesn't get oily <laughs> what else to say if you have dry skin you might not want to do this and I mean, I mean if you have dry skin you would not get oily that quickly so probably you're like I don't even need this video but you know this is for the my oily chick girls my sweaty girls that's it next another more important step I'm all this is all about skin prep you guys literally like makeup depends so much on how you prep your skin so next what I'm doing is again I'm going in with my powder this is my Laura Mercier translucent powder now I again do this when I want my makeup to last for hours together and I know like I don't do this every time I'm going out because every time I generally if I'm going out like I'll go to a restaurant and say there's AC I'll go out and say like if it's not like a much of activity where I'll sweat or do anything but when I know like it has to stay for longer I might sweat I might dance I might like you know do everything I this is when I do that so it's, I just like lightly go ahead and tap my translucent powder again on the areas where I generally tend to get oily if you want like a breakdown of why and how I do this I will leave the link right here for, you know for tips for oily skin makeup yeah see now you can see my skin is nice and matte but my skin is not dehydrated or dry okay so that is important okay so we're going to keep the base as light as possible because remember the lighter the base the more it's not going to you know move around or look heavy cakey oily everything so foundation I'm going in with the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation I love this one like it is a very universal foundation again it can be used all skin types can uh, use it and I love the finish it gives I love its coverage as well but the even like even though it covers everything it does not really make my skin like look really heavy I mean going in with my brush this is the Dufa Beauty RB23 so one thing again I only apply foundation first on the areas where I think I needed the most which is on my cheeks like you can see I have a lot of blemishes so you can see I concentrated the foundation a lot there only then I start dabbing 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 
and only what is left on the brush once the area is covered i go over and i apply and i go over and tap that on the rest of my face this way you make sure like your entire face is kind of evened out but not like heavy at the same time so you can you see my face now like i have foundation on but it is a very thin layer and you can see it's like really lightweight but also it did cover everything which i wanted it to cover so like you know it's all about the application you guys make up a good product also can be bad if you do use it the wrong way and a bad product can be really good if used the right way you know you can see now even after applying the foundation this area is still pretty matte so next i'm going into the cream blush i'm using the outer earth lip and cheek tint in coral nude the reason i'm using a cream blush is because if you wear makeup you know the first thing it disappears from your face is blush so i kind of load it as much as possible because i know it's going to diminish like throughout like the hours and using like a cream and powder kind of makes sure like it's intact and i cannot function without a uh, blush really because like it just adds so much to my face if i were not i just feel like so dead once i apply makeup and uh, you know look at myself i love this one so much and i'm using it after so long now uh, one more thing is for foundation you can go with a more mattifying one if you have like extremely oily skin but i can get away with this one and i really like it okay. so concealer i'm using the la girl pro hd concealer and this is the shade medium beige i'm just going to let that sit now you need to know your concealer to know whether you can make it sit or not like the inside cosmetics one i really like i cannot make that sit for longer because once it's dry, it dries down quickly and it does not blend like this one even if i keep it on for longer it blends off and it gives me more coverage the longer i make it wait meanwhile i'll do my brows and for brows i'm going in with the makeup revolution brow pencil next i'm again going in with the real techniques expert face brush I'm going to blend that concealer off. Next I'm going in with my translucent powder and setting everything in place before it starts creasing. Now I go really heavy handed with the powder because I want my uh, makeup to like be completely transfer proof oil proof all kind of proofs and it won't want it to stay longer now again I do this only when I want it to last longer when I just use like a compact these days I'm so into compacts uh, because especially like you don't get any like a uh, flashback and all with compacts and I really like it so first sometimes I go in with a compact and then I use like this translucent powder but today because I anyways wanted to like you know stay really mad i think i should have applied a little more concealer here starting to look a little off but we shall manage we will do it like a jugarto is possible you know it's always possible i don't know why suddenly whenever i want to like talk something funny i get this accent but wow i love my base it looks so nice again going in with my blush i think i should start buying new blushes because honestly Ah, uh, you guys must be tired seeing this, and I use this so much, and I'm so surprised I still didn't hit pan. You guys have been using this since it launched. I use it almost every time, almost every time I do my makeup, but it's still like there. This is the K Beauty blush, and this is in the shade Sugar Candy, one of my favorite blushes, favorite shades. Just adding that on top. I told you right, like it's a um, safety cushion, like double assurance. Did you guys watch that movie Revenge? double assurance baby you can do your nose if you want i just like i don't know i just don't do that anymore next i'm gonna do a little bit of bronzer this is the kiko milano bronzer as long as you have blush like even if you don't have bronzer you can kind of get away with it but you cannot like have bronzer and not have blush it'll just make you look so uh plain so even like if i just apply powder and it's like not going to stay it's fine because i do have my blush which is going to stay like I, this will just give me a lot more dimension but i can skip it if i want i know a lot of people don't do it like you know a, just like a little blush moment also looks cu quite cute i don't know why there's so much powder on this uh cute so you can definitely do that i just like i'm a little extra like hello like you've been watching me it's not like i i go anything like simple makeup how hello no 
as always the full glam okay i think we'll do eyes and then we'll come back to the base again Okay, for eyes, I'm going to go in with this gorgeous palette from Makeup Revolution. I got this palette recently and I've been dying to dive into this. So we're going to do a, like a nice brown smoky eye today. But like if you are not into colors and you just do makeup every day with like a lot of neutrals, this will be your dream palette. Given that it works well, this will be like a, you know tutorial plus to see if this actually um, this palette is actually going to work i think it will most of my uh, makeup revolution palettes perform pretty good so let's see first i'm going to go in with this and this and add that as a transition shade Fading fast i just want to make it last try to let go of the past i close my eyes and brace the blast sleepless nights and headaches stuff. this is that kind of color you would want to wear when you're doing that no makeup makeup kind of thing because look at it did a lot to my eye but it's not very evident i love this shade it's more like you know if when you use your bronzer as your eyeshadow like beautiful i love this shade i love this shade next i'm going to go in with a little deeper brown i'm probably mixing this and this just tapping that on the lid if you are a beginner suggest first suggestion do this before you do your makeup not after especially when you're using like browns and blacks because eyeshadow will fall on your skin and then it will not look nice. I always like take my eyeshadow and tap it and then I slowly build it up going ahead and blending those edges. You don't have to do much, it's just getting blended on its own. Just going to go in with this darker shade and add it as a wing. You can do this with normal black liner also if you want. I just like it smoky so. So for the waterline I'm going with the Kajal and I'm going with the Lakme Iconic one but not the black one, the brown one. I really like brown Kajal like it is, it gives you the dimension it needs but it's not like as intense as black or looks. Um, I, I feel like black Kajal all the time does not suit me. The certain looks it looks wonderful but sometimes it's just not my vibe. So like for that time I just go in with br uh, brown and then I blend it off so it's like there's dimension but it's like again not too much going to go ahead and blend that brown out this spray this is the next matte finish one again you don't want to i i don't like you know at times like this i don't use like matte fix plus because once i spritz this on it does leave me a little bit of that dewy effect and i do not want that because again i want my makeup to last longer Faces set, going in with some highlighter. I'm going in with a Becca one. I am just going to add a little bit, not a lot, very, very lightly. Like a lot less than what I usually do as well because again, you shall sweat honey and your face will glow naturally. It's, it's, it's an advantage of having oily skin. And this is the final look, you guys. I tried to do something with my hair, uh, but I of obviously failed. Like I wanted to do the twisting thing and then like, you know, tying up thing, but uh, I don't know. It just like ended up this way. But yeah, overall, I like how the makeup is looking though. Like again, this look is uh, very universal. If you wear any color except like pink, you can do this look because it goes off. With mostly, mostly like with pink, the brown kind of does not sit. So you can use like more like, warm uh, mauve maroon shades if you want but like with bra this brown like goes with like greens blues uh, reds oranges any color white black of course like every color in this eye uh, makeup and like this entire makeup goes well it's like that neutral brown glam and i really love how this 
looks uh, you can see like nothing on my face is like you know shiny or glowy or greasy in any way and um, yeah that is about it for this look i really hope it was useful for you all the products i use will be linked in the description box you can definitely check it out if you want to purchase okay this video shout out goes to k i really wish k your entire name was here but thank you so much for always loving and supporting if you want to be part of next video shout out and all you have to do is comment below and use the hashtag aks and you can be a part if you like this video then make sure to like share and subscribe to our channel ring the notification bell i shall see you in my next video bye